Greetings everyone, I have returned to Disneyland for another evening stream. Oh my gosh, my absolute favorite. But enough of the preamble, let's get going. Roll the intro. I'm just hanging out over here in my private entrance to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. Just right back over here, my car is on the other side. It's this whole thing, like the doors slowly open, they backlight me, there's fog. It's so cool, you guys should see it. I, I just can't record it. You just have to be in the park when it happens. But yeah, that's right over there. That's my, Again, that's my private entrance, so if you ever see it, let me know if you found it. You know, it's kinda tucked away. <laughs> but I'm just gonna kinda walk around, see what we can hop on tonight. Kind of a busy evening, but I'm sure we can get on a few attractions. Heading into the marketplace, and I just want to show off the sleeping loaf cat, just snuggling with a little baby toy porg. Ah, they're always cuter when they're sleeping. I joke about this all the time, but maybe tonight, just maybe, I'm gonna roll the bones and on a single rider <laughs> for Smuggler's Run. I haven't been on this in ages. I will not be a pilot, I can almost guarantee you that. But they said, probably isn't gonna be much of a wait, so no. I'm gonna try it out. Wish me luck. Heading on into the single rider. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Here we go, I don't know why I'm doing this. Oh, I just wanna try it out. It is nice and air conditioned. I've been in here before too, where I see it super long, and then I'm like, ah, I'm backing out. Oh, look at this. I got one of those. Hmm, very nice. Do I look like a Star Warsian? I hope so. Hang on, base. We'll go this one. I like the background, though. <laughs> Wish me luck, everybody. Pilots, line up behind the train. And engineers, you harpoon that precious cargo. <laughs> Move on, my friends. See you in the cockpit. Welcome, please. Of course. This is gonna be fun. I'm terrified. You got this. I believe in you. Right, Push the flashing button to take off. Fire the door to left. Move your stick to fly right and left. I was just about to say that. Fire the on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly. Oh no. Red laser. All right. Here we go. Woo! <laughs> oh. Got the old Millennium Falcon back in one piece. I'm so proud. And my pilots were super good. Actually, better than I expected. I've just had some not so favorable experiences with some younger pilots in the past uh, going on single rider, but that was really fun. And it is a fun way to like meet a group of people that might not have a full party of six. We only had four all together, so they had auto engineers in the back. And I think it'll automate most everything if you have a pilot, at least one pilot if not two. I think I've heard if you can find a way to get on there by yourself, they do like an autopilot, like Chewy thing. Like Chewy doesn't get in the cockpit with you. That would be amazing. I wish that were the case. But that was actually really fun. I had a good time. Man, and my arm, and I'm just, you're, just hitting, you're just hitting the button. So I don't know if I'm a really good gunner or just, just spamming out laser blasts. You know, I don't, I don't know. But again, here it is, Millennium Falcon. I'm just happy it's weird. I was just up there. It was right in there. Can you believe it? I can believe it. Sometimes the wait times are a little bit inflated. As you can see, this is Mr. Toad's Wild Ride. It says 30 minutes. But I'm going to tell you right now, 
this is the line, and it only goes back right over here. I'm gonna say this is gonna be maybe 10. Maybe. So not that bad at all. This is usually not open, but I love seeing it. I think it's on maybe warmer days they open it or when there's like a breeze, I'm not sure. It's really great. Yeah, so you can see right in, a little preview of the ride. Oh, so good. He's just misunderstood. Just misunderstood. Knock, knock. <laughs> Badger, hello. Sorry about this, everybody. Oh, I saw a picture of Molly and Ratty in here. That's nice. It's nice of you, Toad. Ah, oh, yes. Now, I forgot about the one in Walt Disney World that had all these extra scenes. Like, I've never forgotten about that ride, but just moments in there, I forgot how different the two tracks were. Ah, I just, I gotta go check out YouTube videos of that. It's so good. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'll never stop. <laughs> Oh, it's so much. Like, oh, hey, watch out. Hey, uh. Oh, look at it. Oh, it's beautiful in here. Look at this place. Oh, so pretty. Uh oh. What the heck? Oh, howdy, boys. Yep. I'm leaving. <laughs> a PSA for you guys, sometimes the Fantasyland will close down for fireworks if they are doing fireworks. It depends on weather, mostly wind, because Anaheim is located you know, in the city, or <laughs> Disneyland is located in the city of Anaheim. There you go, I can speak. So they'll shut this off. Now what happens sometimes, pro tip from Jimmy, they will close this off right here. And that means that most all of this stuff, Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, Peter Pan's Flight, Snow White's Enchanted Wish, King Arthur's Carousel, and Daring Journey for Pinocchio will be shut down. However, after that, they'll let it all be back open after the fireworks, and these will all be walk-ons. However, if you want to ride Peter Pan's Flight, which most people do, they will all beeline it. There'll be a huge surge of people. It'll be like the beginning of the day. It's like rope dropping again, and this is the rope right here. So just keep that in mind. So if you do want to enjoy these Fantasyland attractions, you can't do it during the fireworks, typically. But if you wait just a little bit, you might be able to hop on something like Peter without waiting for too long. But it, it does get nuts. It really has. I've, I think I've, I don't know if I've shown it. Thanksgiving, I was here Thanksgiving night and it got, it got wild. I'm heading on over to one of my favorite mountains ever because guess what? Single rider calls my name and a little sunset trip down the icy slopes. Well, it's just what the doctor ordered. <laughs> Let's go. It is time once again. So beautiful. Yes, follow it, follow it. Yes, we gotta go see Harold, the abominable snowman, my buddy. Uh, I hope he's not as ornery as he was last time I was here. He seemed pretty frustrated. Number six on the Tomorrowland side. This is gonna get crazy. Oh my gosh, especially the beginning, which I will show you guys. <laughs> At the top of the mountain for Tomorrowland, it just is nuts. Oh yeah, Mr. Toad was down for a bit, so it took a little bit longer, but it was still maybe 15 minutes. So not that long. And also, this is almost a walk on. Here we go! show it to you because I, I can't completely encapsulate the feeling of it. Um, you know, it's just, it's something special. Now I know a lot of people complain about the roughness of it and it is rough. So if you, if you do suffer from kind of pains like that or maybe even if you don't, you might. But it just, it makes you stronger. That's the way I look at it. it makes you, especially when you're in the back on the Tomorrowland side, that might be the roughest. You know, I feel like it's just made me more powerful. At least that's what I'm, I tell my chiropractor. <laughs> I'm just kidding. 
<laughs> I don't have a chiropractor. Okay, we're moving on now. <laughs> One thing I found recently over here about the Matterhorn Trail, as it were, was this information right here. I don't know if I've shown this off before, but when you're waiting in the queue line for the Matterhorn, you see all these different flags, and these are the 26 cantons, or I think kind of regions, of Switzerland, as it were. I think it's great. And also they kind of show you a little bit of like the Swiss Alps here. The Matterhorn is 4,478 meters tall. I think it's like, I want to say 14,000 feet tall because this Matterhorn is like one-tenth the size, so it's only 147. I think some, I might be way off on the math there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if that's the case. But yeah, I think this is great. So if you want to learn a little bit more about you know, Switzerland, here's the place to do it. And the more I think about it, this is like what I would pick up and put into Epcot if I could. And there were plans for a Swiss pavilion. So this is kind of the closest you can get. Also over at Edelweiss Snacks, you get some chimichangas. Because that's very Swiss, right? I don't know, anyway. <laughs> but also there's Harold. There he is, you probably couldn't see him on the ride. Now again, as I've said many times in the past, he is an abominable snowman, not a Yeti. Yeti's different. I know I might be splitting hairs, this might be semantics on cryptids, but there's a difference, all right? There's a difference. I just literally saw the sign change from 10 minutes down to five for It's a Small World. You know what? When you see a five minute ride, especially this late in the game, you hop on it, all right? You don't question it, you just hop on it. Now for anyone unaware, It's a Small World is a high speed flume-like attraction with sudden drops and stops. Really, really massive drops. Makes Splash Mountain looks like child's play, man. It's just, it's crazy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Slow moving boat ride, family friendly. Great message in there too. Don't be worried about this one. And it's just, it's fun for everybody. I would like to convince some people though that it's not that, you know? And then they get this idea in their head that would not be anything like <laughs> what, what it actually is. But I'll show you some highlights of it. Things are happening. Ah. I'm waiting for something to happen. Come on. Oh, wow. A lot going on here. Hi, one. Number two. Perfect. Very exciting. Yes, they're filing out. I think they do this every 15 minutes or so. Could be wrong about that. But very quaint. Very cute. Yeah. Your face is always smiling. Always smiling. Another completely quaint ride on It's a Small World. I love that one. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> it just, we have so much more in common than we do that's different, but we can appreciate the cultural differences between everyone in our world. That's the way I look at it anyway. Now I'm gonna head over to Tomorrowland, see how bad Hyperspace Mountain is right now for a lion. We'll see. Hyperspace Mountain sitting at 45 minutes right now. I might wait just a little bit longer for the parade to kick off and then maybe this queue line will drop dramatically. That is the hope. Over at the Star Wars launch bay right now, they're doing a Book of Boba Fett kind of picture opportunity. If you have one of the Disney chase cards, yeah, so you can go up there and take some pictures. If I'm able to do them, I'll insert it right here.
sat up there, and now I'm going to be the crime lord of Tatooine. Man, I hope I can get those pictures for you, but if not, you get that kind of picture right there, and then they have a magic shot over on one of the walls over there where they kind of digitally enter in some characters for you. Pretty cool. I thought I'd hop on the train here to go see the primeval world. Enter the world of the dinosaur. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. This is so cool, I love how this sign just keeps changing. I believe there are three different things you can see here. When it flips, it goes back over to the Old West after this. Yeah, and I thought I'd just, you know, hop on there. Maybe make my way over to the other side of the park. Oh, there it goes. Ride into the Old West, Frontierland. Temporal Zone, 1860. Oh, cool, they have like the, <laughs> the years on there. That's great. Oh my gosh, I love it. Hey, just stand here for a few seconds and you can see it keep flipping. That's wonderful. And back to the best one. Temporal Zone. 200 million BC. Wow, that's a ways back. Yeah, Topia in the evening is lovely. Also right kind of behind it, you can see it there just a little bit. The Matterhorn, oh, just tucked away. It's kind of nice how they cover up that sight line from this spot, you know? Not that you need to hide the Matterhorn, but we kind of kept in Tomorrowland with this. Yeah, if you ever get the chance to hop on Autopia, I would recommend it, especially at night. It's a little less brutal, because when you're out here in the sun, even though a lot of it is covered with trees and whatnot down the way here, it's just more fun and adventurous at night. That's just my own personal opinion, though. It feels kind of like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride when you just see the light, and that's it, at first. <laughs> oh, but here it comes. Oh, totally worth the wait. I got away. Hello! Alright. Get up in that front car. It's gonna be great. Now, as you can see, a lot of people joined us. So I'm just kidding. Uh, but these are the train cars that face forward like this. So you kind of have to turn your body so you can see everything that's gonna happen over here, which is going to be the Grand Canyon diorama along with the primeval world. And I'm gonna show you mostly the primeval world because the Grand Canyon stuff is mostly just a lovely room of death. Do you guys do you know that reference? I, I hope you do. <laughs> ah yes, once again we've gone back to the primeval world. I love this part, this is my favorite part of the entire train ride. It's just, it really is so good. Like look at those guys. Now for people who don't know, if they're like, why is this all here? A lot of this stuff is from Ford's Magic Skyway, which was at the 1964, 1965 World's Fair. The dinosaurs, at least. And the pterosaurs here, I think, too, potentially. Pteranodon, not a pterodactyl. And it's just it's a thing for me. Anyway, got the triceratops over here. Look at those little babies, they're so cute. Yes. Yep, and some maybe Gallimimus, I don't know. Yep. And then the best part of the whole thing is just this climactic battle. Telling a story from right to left, which is kind of different. Look at the glowing eyes. I love it. Very, very cool. Uh... Hopped off at New Orleans Square. And you know what? Haunted Mansion's only a 20 minute wait. I'm gonna do it for the Haunted Mansion fans, all right? I'm gonna do it for you guys, because I love you so much. Ah, yes. It's the Haunted Mansion. Or, as they like to call it in France, Le Haunte Mansion. Actually, no, it's called Phantom Manor over there. Oh my goodness, I wanna to go to Paris so badly. Mostly for Disneyland Paris. Like, regular Paris, I'm sure, is great and interesting. I'd like to see those catacombs. But, I really wanna go see Disneyland Paris, because it sounds like a time and a half. So one day, Disneyland Paris, I'm gonna come see ya. It's another one of those deceptive cues. You kinda of just walk right up and you're like, ah, this is great. They hide all the switchbacks, where you can't see them. They hide them in the back. That's what they call them, switchbacks. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I've kind of mentioned this a time or two before, but this is kind of like the secret entrance into Haunted Mansion. Now they have times where if you need to use like an ECV or another type of um, vehicle, if you have a disability or a handicap, they will allow you to come down here. And this kind of lets you right in to the main loading area for the mansion. It's really cool. I've never been through it before myself, but I have seen it utilized is very, very interesting and well-themed because it's right by this kind of tomb stuff. Oh, we're opening it right now. Oh, I can show it to you. Look at Perfect timing. It's wonderful. Ah, there we go. Yeah. See? I just proved it. 
Thanks, universe. So I'm coming back to the store because right now they're actually using it as an evacuation point because Haunted Mansion is temporarily closed. So you come out of here, uh, if you're actually down in the attraction, like the loading area, they'll send you up through here, I believe. Very interesting. As you can see, a lot of people coming back out of here. So I'm gonna make myself scarce before I get trapped in the sea of people who are all leaving the Haunted Mansion. Well, here's a sight you don't normally see me walking back this way. <laughs> it's funny. But I'll give you a little joke just to help you with the fact that we're not gonna go get some puns on the ride. I hear all the people who work here pull a graveyard shift. It's so fun. It's fun for me. Yeah, that's great. Also, quick question for you guys. There's an invisible horse over here. It's like a ghost horse. Are you yay or nay for the horse? You get it? You get it nay? I have to say that because if I don't, people will be like, what is he talking about with the horse? <laughs> I talk about this all the time in Disneyland, any theme park, or just life in general, is that sometimes you're just gonna have to adapt to a situation just to make the best of it. These attractions do go down and you just have to be like, all right, well, you know what? We'll come back another time. Maybe sometimes you'll walk right up to an attraction that's just reopening after being closed and you just walk right on it. So just, you know, try to keep that in mind. But also another thing, as I've been saying a lot with pirates right now, at the time of this recording, because it's down for a massive refurbishment, check before you come on the Disneyland side or Walt Disney World side or Universal side or wherever you're gonna go to see which attractions are going under refurbishment. Because a lot of these things, because these are 365 day a year parks, they are down for a certain portion of every year, especially the water rides like Splash Mountain. So if you wanna ride those attractions, try to make sure you plan your trips accordingly just so you don't miss out. Well, believe it or not, Indiana Jones Adventure, colon, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. It's only like a 20 minute wait. And you know what? That means I'm gonna hop on it. Yep. And it's just so much cooler to go on it at night because you approach and it's just the atmosphere. Just, just look at this. Look at how wonderful it is. Oh, it's so good. I enjoy it so much. Hello. Thank you. We're gonna be rich. We're gonna be rich. Just don't look into the eyes of Mara. Don't look into the eyes. Oh. Looks like Jimmy is returning to the temple of Forbidden Eye. Oh, what's in store for him? Infinite riches? Maybe wisdom beyond measure. Or perhaps youth. Eternal youth. Glorious youth. Maybe. Watch out, Jimmy. It's getting scary down there. Remember to watch your step. Don't touch too many things. <laughs> Remember, this stuff can hurt you. Look at this. What's that mean? What's that over there? <laughs> Wait to find out. There you go, Jimmy. Making it further and further down to the temple. How about your friend, Dr. Jones? He always needs help. That rat scally is always getting into trouble. Get him out of it, just like you always do, Jimmy. Yes. Good job. You're doing it. Look at you go. Doing things. Look at that. What's this? Who knows? Looks like there was a bit of a coffee spill. That's grounds for dismissal in my book. Look at all those artifacts. So many things collected. So much more to be discovered. What will you discover, Jimmy? Uh-oh. Looks like Jimmy will be driving. Good luck out there, Jimmy. Watch out, Jimmy. Be careful on the turns. Looks like the brakes are out. Huh? You're all right. Just keep trying to flip it over. Yeah, turn it over. There you go. Watch out. Turn. 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 Good job. Well done. You got those people out of there. I appreciate everyone who is with me. My crew, they were so great. They, they played along, I think. I hope I didn't ruin it. I try to make it seem like I'm actually driving. It's really great. There are definitely a few moments, like two or three, that you can kind of really play it up. Also, there's a little moment on the bridge where you stop, but then we move forward and then stopped again for like a second. I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna be right and break down. No such luck. No such luck. But not a 30 minute wait, not a 20 minute wait. Basically walking on the ride, which is excellent. I love when that happens. Yes, for anybody who needs to see that, real rewards await those who choose wisely. So true. Found out my buddy Giorgio's not here tonight, but that's okay because guess what? I still love the Jungle Cruise. I'd like to hop on it. Hear a couple of jokes. We grow up to 500 pounds and leap over 50 feet, so we have to be careful 
Also here on the left, friends, we have the statue of an elephant looking for his contact lens, which is concrete <laughs> evidence that we're now making our way into the sacred uh, meaning pool of the Indian well elephant. But don't you worry, folks, it's all right to stare. I promise they all have their trunks on. Our gazelle, our gnu, our gazebras, our galions, who are enjoying their late night snack of a gazebra on the rock. Did you know the Goliath can go up to 500 pounds and make over 50 feet to leave Also on the right there, we have Super Felix and his crew being chased by a rhino. Somebody told me that being chased by a rhino is actually quite an uplifting experience, but that kind of just looks like a pain in the butt to me. So it wasn't Giorgio tonight, but it was rather George. Skipper George, you did a great job. At the end, he spelled his name. It's H-E-L-P. Space M E with exclamation point. <laughs> he did this reoccurring joke that I loved. He kept picking up on various animals, and you saw in the beginning we were talking about the tiger. He said, you know, they can grow up to 500 pounds and leap 50 feet. He kept making that joke with other creatures, the lion and a water buffalo, and just kept saying, did you know that they can grow up to 500 pounds and leap, like leap 50 feet? Like, <laughs> I was like, that was very good. So he did a great job. Basically walked right on Jungle Cruise. This is a great night, man. Just, just kind of walking on attractions. This, I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate you. I just can't get over how gorgeous Big Thunder Mountain is at night. <sighs> Might hop on it later. It says it's a posted wait time of 30 minutes. I'm not sure if it's that, but I think I'm just going to be patient and be swing back by later. So that way I don't have to really wait much at all. Hey, there goes the train right now. Watch. It's going to come right out over here in three, two, one. Yeah, there's the train. Big Thunder Mountain. All what I said earlier about this, yep. Fantasyland shut down right now until after the fireworks. So interesting. I feel like I've seen a lot of things in my life, but this next thing truly shocks me. Oh no, she's just wrapping up. Edna Mode was doing the Macarena. She was doing the Macarena. Check this out. Get it, Edna. Look at her go. Oh. That's so funny. And Frozone's out there too. It's an interesting pairing, really. Frozone's got it. Oh, look at him. I got a point from Frozone. It was very good. It was very good. Look at it. <laughs> oh, uh, he's got the moves. He's got the moves. Yeah. I've seen the Incredibles out here too, like Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. So good. So funny. I might just need to bite the proverbial bullet and head on because this is Hyperspace Mountain we're talking about. And I don't know how many more chances I'm going to get to ride it. I think they keep it here until July 4th, until they bring back the irregular old toilet overlay that they have here. And again, I mean toilet, not in a bad way. It just goes round and round, you know? But with the Star Wars stuff, it kind of throws you off a little bit. So we'll see. All the other times I've seen tonight have been inflated. Time to see if Hyperspace Mountain is one of them as well. I really hope so. Admittedly, I do not know as far as the lines are concerned on this one as much. I have waited in it previously for like a half hour, 35 minutes or so. So I'm gonna be jumping and judging off of that point. Ooh, let's see, like future Jimmy knows, but right now, like present Jimmy is nervous. I feel like I'm just gonna have to, just gonna have to do it though, because I wanna ride this. It's hyperspace Mount. Hey, I'm, I'm wearing the shirt, I'm wearing the shirt. Okay, so right now, the last time I rode this, and I waited in line, I had to go up through here, and then I was in that building for a while doing switchbacks. Everything else, there's a little snack area and stuff too. In there for a bit, there's like the big satellite thing or whatever. But we're going past all of that. So, unless they've added something, or a bunch of Lightning Lane people get in front of me at this point, this should not be a 45 minute line. That's the hope anyway. It feels kind of nuts. Cause yeah, this is just open. It's just completely open. Looks like we're gonna get stopped right about here, but I I don't think it's gonna be that long. I really don't think it'll be 45 minutes at least. Adam Alakbar. There we go. Cool. They talked about Jack Who as well. These missions can feel like a high-speed roller coaster type ride in the dark. Can feel like Sharp that. Turns, sudden drops and stops. Follow all pre-launch mm -hmm. procedures. Oh, they had a great comma there, right in front of the and. I love the and. Okay. Here we go. I'm very hopeful. This doesn't last that long. And also with you, Admiral. <laughs> Look at these like old-fashioned graphics and stuff. This is great. I don't know if this is just from previous incarnations of the ride and they just kind of threw the Jakku thing on top of it, but Attention, pilots. I'm looking forward to it. Stand by for mission oh. briefing. 
Admiral. Pirates, we detected a star destroyer near Jakku. One little fun fact about this version of Space Mountain. It says Space Station 77. You know what that means. It was built in the year 1977, the same year that Star Wars came out. Isn't that crazy? But yeah, the one in Walt Disney World actually built in 1975. So this one is not the original one, and it's pretty different. This isn't gonna take 45 minutes. It's probably closer to like 20, 25. A lot of lightning lane people came through here, but not that big of a deal. Not a problem at all. As you can see up on the board over there, Jakku. Oh, it's so cool, and the X-Wings. I love Star Destroyers. It's such a funny name because I don't really think they're built to literally destroy stars, but they sound so scary. Yeah. What if they had one of those run into the Death Star, though, and blow it up? See, then it would have been a Star Destroyer of a sort. <laughs> so I've probably shown this actually riding on it before, but if you need to have a little assistance getting in, like have an ECV or whatnot, you need a little more help. They'll be sat right over here, and then they will bring it over. It's really cool, very convenient. Also, right over there, that's where Single Rider used to enter. So yeah, that's why I miss Single Rider, because he used to just pop right on. It was right back over there, actually. This is the more the ECV entrance, but you both use that same channel. But yeah, I will show you them shifting over. It's actually really cool. They have this on the Matterhorn, too. It's not necessarily for the same reason, I don't think. I'm not sure. I haven't seen it enough in action there. But you'll see these ones go by. See folks, loading and unloading. I'm trying to count this. 12 different rows, two people per row, so 24 people max per group. But a lot of these cars going around. I don't know the max number on this version of Space Mountain. They sound like I know the max version on others, as far as numbers go. Oh. That's actually really cool though. It's, it's a nice loading area. I still think I prefer the one in Walt Disney World, but I do miss the open air aspect of the one in Walt Disney World they used to have back in the day. That one was really cool. All right, they'll probably shift them over here. This is really cool to watch. So again, they're gonna go over here, over here. I'm gonna see if I can help them out with the force. There we go, we saw it. We saw it just a little bit. Here we go, yeah! <laughs> oh man, copper country. We're all being supported. We're doing this, let's go. And here we go. Whoa, hey, we're going to hyperspace once again. See, this is how I think it should be all the time. Oh, oh. Look We're coming out of nowhere. Here we go. Yeah, play this song. Is that a Star Destroyer? Oh my gosh, they warned us about this. Oh well, we're, at least we're getting paid. <laughs> -hoo 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 -hoo. Look at the x wings there we go. <laughs> <laughs> they should keep that all the time. That is, that is very good, I love that. That was wonderful. <laughs> I think I'll try to do my best like force lightning thing here. Do I look like Sidious or Palpatine? Do it. <laughs> Unlimited power. Okay, so here's the deal. I'm a big Star Wars fan, and hearing that music, John Williams' score, you could put that over anything. You put it over Space Mountain. You could put it over Matterhorn. You could put it over Pinocchio's Daring Journey, and it would probably elevate the experience for yours truly. Now, would it work on everything else? Maybe not, but I like it there, and. I could see why in Paris they have done this. Now that's a different type of Space Mountain altogether, but that is now just like hyperspace mountain all the time. And that one's got some inversions and like a corkscrew and stuff, so you kind of like go around like this as a TIE fighter kind of comes at you, I believe. I think that'd be so cool. And I get why they don't have that here all the time. And it's just projections, so it doesn't take that long to switch in and out of, which is nice. But yeah, I want this to stick around all the time. That is worth the wait for me personally. But like 20, maybe 30 minutes. If I had people to wait in line with, I have you to wait in line with, all right? So I hope that makes sense. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about all this. One good Star Wars thing deserves another. It says it's only five minute wait, so I'm gonna try it out. I don't know if I've ever noticed this before over here. It's a sign that kind of is a directory, it's an observation deck, six, light speed lounge, sounds great at five. Boarding gates at four, okay, so it's airport. Security at three, ticketing at two, baggage claim slash transport at one. 
Man, that's actually really cool. I don't know why I've never noticed that, but it's a nice little touch. I'm hoping so much for Darth Vader and to be the Rebel Spy. I'm, I'm really hoping. At least Darth Vader. Even if I'm not the Rebel Spy, it'd be great. It'd be so great if we get Vader. Please give me Vader. Come on. Oh no, it won't be. It's Kylo. I know it already. Yep. Oh no, it's this guy. I'm not the captain. Who is it? Oh, oh, it's me! Ah, not again! <laughs> Sorry, everybody! Uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm the spy. <laughs> I'll die in no Ogax. That's right, it's probably only one of them. Oh my goodness. Give me a couple more than one. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Woo! Huh. I am Lando. Lando! Hey, buddy. Nice to see a familiar face. It's good to see you too. And you too, Artu. Listen, the First Order is rallying its forces. We need your help. Rendezvous with the coordinates I'm transmitting. Oh dear. Good luck. Thanks, Lando. Once again, I was the Rebel Spy. Hi, everybody. May the Force be with you and all that. <laughs> Thank you. Some lady turned around to me and said suspicious when she left, and I was like, what are you talking about? I got the wrong one. I'm just kidding. I'm all for the rebellion, baby. The resistance, though, I don't know. I don't know what they're about. But yeah, rebel spy, apparently rebel scum. You know what? If I'm going to be part of that group, then yeah, I'm going to be <laughs> sneaking around. Would you believe me being a spy? Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Oh my gosh, or should I say Elastigirl? Oh my gosh, there she is. Uh, can I get a quick selfie with you guys? Thank you so much. Okay, we have to walk. Thank you. Oh, there you go. You have to go. Thank you, guys. <laughs> oh, they had to run because they've got stuff going on. Look at this. I know them. I know them. People are losing it. <laughs> and now they're going to start dancing. See, I told you this happens sometimes. Oh, got some good framing here. Like, this is... <laughs> This is just such a strange thing. It's not bad. I just, it's like Pixar friends are dancing. Like I saw Jesse with the Green Army men out here. There's a whole thing. So I had to meet them very, very briefly. You know, Tomorrowland actually felt a little more cohesive tonight with Hyperspace Mountain and Star Tours over there because when Hyperspace Mountain is not Hyperspace Mountain and Star Tours is over there and there's Buzz Lightyear, it just feels like it's kind of disparate, if that makes any sense at all. But tonight felt like kind of a a thing, like its own mini Star Wars land over there. And that's probably the way it's felt for years when hyperspace shows up. I kind of like it. I get why it's not permanent, but especially with Galaxy's Edge over, you know, kind of in the back. But I don't know. Maybe we should think about it. You know, Disney? Disney? <laughs> Who am I kidding? Disney's gonna, they're gonna tear everything down soon and put up the people mover. Get it working again, aren't you? Please. Please, please. People over is so good. It calls to me once again. Oh, it's so beautiful. Like seriously, how picturesque is this? It's so good. Oh, let's go. It was the flags I was talking about before. There we go. Did I ride this earlier? Yes. Did I ride it in this vlog? Yes. We're riding it again. Yes. <laughs> once again, I'm gonna get the back row, baby. Oh my goodness. Yes. I'm looking forward to showing off just a little bit. It's mostly dark and screaming at this point in the night, but try to get some interior shots for you guys. Here we go again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this mountain looking pretty. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it's smoother over here in the beginning, that's for sure, compared to Tomorrowland side. Look, this room right there, okay. <laughs> I hope it's just coming through the camera. I don't know if you can see any of it. We'll get another shot here, I think. Here we go. Take a little look, see, baby. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Here we go. Woo! Uh, yes. Let it rain down on me. <laughs> 
I don't know what's compelling me to do this, but I really just want to ride the teacups at night. So I'm going to. I'm going to take this one over here. It's going to be great. It's going to be a jolly good time. Oh, yes. <laughs> There we go. Lovely. Also, look. Right there. I love the Matterhorn. It's so good. It's just. Hey. Matterhorn. Love the Matterhorn. Now, you can decide how fast you want to go on this. It's not super spinny if you don't actually spin it, you know? Because I don't like to spin too much. But it does cook a bit. I'll show you. Woo! We're moving now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> it's old school fun. <laughs> oh, it's so good. So, bonus for you guys. I want to show you what happens if I just change the music just a little bit to this. Alright, ready? Watch out. It'll change the whole thing. <laughs> Look at this. We're all having a good time. Cup of tea later in the evening. Right? This is just like the Alice in Wonderland Pavilion. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, it is so good. Yeah. Oh, dang. That's okay. We had fun, didn't we? I did. I'm now heading back through Fantasyland over to Frontierland to see how my big Thunder Mountain Railroad is doing. I don't know why I said my. It's not mine. <laughs> it's not my mine. Mine, I don't know. anyway, uh, these are minor jokes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, anyway, uh, yeah, I'm heading over there. See what it's like, see how bad it is, see how long the queue is. It's starting to die down here really quickly, though. It's a bit cooler out here, too. I love it, I love it so much. You know, it still says 30, but the theme of the night has been that the wait times are inflated. So, we're gonna give it a shot. Let's see if it's really 30 minutes. It's so beautiful and cozy, isn't it? Oh, thank goodness. I've got row lucky number 13, baby. All right, let's do it. We got some bats in the back cave here. And then the rainbow caverns, baby. Oh, I love them. I love those rainbow caverns. <laughs> oh my goodness, you gotta keep your senses about you when you're on Big Thunder. Woo <laughs> It's time for that goat trick. It's hard to come through on the camera what I'm doing, but here we go. I'm looking at it, looking at it. Some of that came through on the camera. Man, Big Thunder, you're just so magical. I love you. Ah, the Rome burning smell. Oh, it smells so good. That's right, oh, yes. Let it rain down on me again. <laughs> Big Thunder is always so good, especially, wait for it, at night. Oh my gosh, it just, at night it's just so, mm, so good. And again, it's, I, I can't get it through the camera and into your eyeballs the way that it really is here at night. At least not with the current tech I have. Maybe one day though I can really show you what it looks like exactly. Maybe it's just on my end. Maybe it's an editing thing. I don't know. I've got some shortcomings as an editor, I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, <laughs> now I'm going to keep heading through Frontierland, head through New Orleans Square, head on over to Critter Country because we're getting towards the end of the night. And you know where I like to end the night if I can? If it's not gonna be Jurassic World, you know where it's gonna be. Come on guys, you know where it's gonna be. Okay, I feel like I teased everybody earlier. You know, not going to the Haunted Mansion. Now it says 13 minutes. That's not 13 minutes. You're walking right on. Okay, here we go. Redemption time. All right, for all my Haunted Mansion fans, the original Haunted Mansion fans, who like the original. Maybe you weren't like necessarily <laughs> the first batch of people to like it, but you know what I mean. 
You know what I mean. There's the door again for like the third time, but this time there's nobody here. This was all full last time. Lightning lane cuts right over here and then just heads straight down there. But these switchbacks, they kind of fall in on themselves. Like the one at Alice in Wonderland and at the end. Ugh. Here we go. Right on into Haunted Mansion, baby. Oh yeah. Here's the front door. I'm gonna head right on it. Uh, I can't. Uh. Okay, here we'll go in the servant's entrance. Uh, this thing freaked me out so much as a kid. Haunted Mansion, especially that hallway. But now it's just like, I don't know, chilling out. The ghosts are just trying to make a living, as it were. <laughs> oh my goodness, he's got jokes, folks. Now this is usually the portion of the attraction when the Nightmare Before Christmas overlay is on. When the actual, you know, man-eating plant wreath is up. Oh, one of my favorite parts. Uh, I, miss, I, I shouldn't talk about it every time, I just I miss it. Also, I look freaky or what? Just chilling out over the ballrooms. Oh. Look at this. It's beautiful. Kind of a stormy night out there. I saw a video recently of Phantom Manor, and that's right where the bride would be over there with the Phantom. Mm. I gotta get over to Paris, guys. <laughs> but hey, we wouldn't have Phantom Manor or Nightmare Before Christmas overlay without the original. So I got respect for that much. There he is, the one and only Hatbox. Yes, stop me right here. Perfect, Hatbox. Can we get a trick? <laughs> Oh, what a hero you are. Look at your little spot here. You got little bats over there? Isn't that fun? Oh, there's your face again. Very nice. Thanks, Hatbox. Appreciate it, buddy. Mummy! There he is. <laughs> Howdy, boys! Which one do I get? Do I get this guy every time or what? Come on, man. Uh, and the Hello. Will follow you it's home. pretty freaky though. <laughs> he's laughing, he's having a good time. Have I made that joke before? <laughs> Another fun ride there on the Haunted Mansion. But you know what the true terror in this park is? I'll tell you what. Splash Mountain. Oh yeah, and guess what? I'm going on it right now. I hope there isn't much of a line. It's getting near park close. It's kind of cold out. I'm thinking most people aren't going to brave it like yours truly. But yeah, give me row three by myself. It'll be totally fine. You'll see me hooting and hollering as we head to the laughing place. <laughs> I rarely go on the rest of the line, but look at this. Some bears are carved out of that tree. This really is critter country. I really like that. For some of the folks who might be newer around here, hi, and also, if you haven't seen it, I did a multi-angle POV of Splash Mountain if you want to check that out. Basically, it shows like the right and left sides simultaneously. I've done that for a few attractions, but I want to do one for Splash Mountain because it means a lot to me, and it's like my mom's favorite ride. It was a big thing for me to ride this the first time. And also, in the years to come, Splash Mountain's gonna change. So I just kind of wanted to keep it for posterity's sake. So go check that out if you haven't seen it yet. Walked literally right on there like, oh, one, I'll be three. And they just like opened the gates and they just walked right in. Ah, uh, here we go. Eee, we're gonna have so much fun. Now I don't fear the water as some others do on these types of attractions. You know, kind of being wet for the rest of the day. Some people, especially at night, they don't want to do it. My thought is if you get wet now and then you head back to your hotel or wherever you're staying, it's not as bad as getting, you know, soaked earlier in the day. But some people prefer the other way around. Whatever you like, you know, it's completely up to you. Uh, but also riding alone, I kind of know what to expect. I say this and watch, I'll be betrayed. Hopefully not by the owl. Please don't betray me, little owl. I love you so much. We're gonna go past Rare Bear's den, which is kind of funny to think about. It's just a little bit under Rare Fox's, you know, den up on Chickapin Hill. Rare Bear. Now we're going over Slippin' Falls, which is great. It's actually about the same size like the first drop in Norway, or I don't know, no, 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 no! I meant to say Maelstrom. It doesn't exist anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> like bracing for all the water. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Look at his crazy eyes. Oh my goodness. Howdy, boys. Pretty good sure as you're born. Oh, I love it. It's so warm in here. <laughs> it's so warm. Oh, that smell. Ah, so nice. Howdy, boys. There we go. There's one 
rare bear behind. There'll be plenty more. Here comes the next one right above the Laughing Place drop. You see it right there. That's number two. Oh my goodness. Here we go. This is the bad one. Oh my goodness. I may have made it worse for myself. I may have I'm, my shoe, my right shoe, it'll be fine. I'm gonna be fine. <laughs> Howdy, boys, how you doing? Oh, okay, appreciate it, you wanna come with? Oh. Okay, bye-bye. And here we go, oh my gosh. We got stopped right at the top for a second there. That got real scary, whoa, let's go! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh dear, oh my goodness. I got intense. <laughs> ah, I survived the woo! And there it is, number three. Ah, fantastic. That's a ghost flume over there, or a ghost log, I should say. <laughs> okay. See, it's not just pirates, man. These ghost boats everywhere. Yep, used to be a little owl that was up there to tell you to go check out your pictures, but he is uh, not there. <laughs> oh, and if you don't want to ride, you can hop on this, go up and over. If you, the rest of your party wants to ride, you don't want to. You can just sneak out over there. So just remember that at the very end, there's still a moment to get out if you want to. Ride number two, baby. <laughs> we got stopped again up the top for a second. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Oh yeah, that's like the the eponymous splash right there at the end. I love it. Oh, so good. Ride number three in a row, baby. Let's go! <laughs> Ride number four, baby, in a row. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, <laughs> oh, so good. Feeling alive with ride number five, baby. Yes! <laughs> Wow, this is, I don't know if I've ever ridden it this much right in a row. Five might be the new thing to beat, that's amazing. I think I just live here now. <laughs> wow, it's so lovely. Also, I was just thinking on the last one that went on, this reminds me of the red clay pits that you have over at Kilimanjaro Safaris in Animal Kingdom at Walt Disney World. Yeah, just a little bit, if you know what I'm talking about. Uh, good stuff, good stuff. I just, I doubt they have any elephants over here, but this is Critter Country. You never know. You just never know. Ah, five times in. There's Bear Rabbit. I'm one with the log now. I have gotten rather splashed, as it were. My legs are pretty wet now. That laughing place drop is no joke. It is no joke. <laughs> But I'm laughing about it, so there you go. Just a guy riding Splash Mountain five times in a row. It's <laughs> like a normal person. Ah, uh, yes. Having such a good time. Rock on, baby. Rock on. Oh, just for posterity, look at this. Look at that. That's just all wet and all wet here, too. So my legs, pretty wet. Do you know what? I'll pay that price anytime for Splash Mountain five times in a row. Like I said, feeling alive. It's ride number five. Oh, so good. Thank you for coming with me. Everyone, that will do it for me here tonight at Disneyland. I hope you had a good time. I really, really did. And thank you so much for joining me. Thank you for giving me a little bit of your time. The one thing I want you to do for me here tonight is please just think in your mind right now, internally, one thing you like about yourself. Do that for me, please, okay? And until next time, just remember to adapt and overcome. Bye-bye. Jacks right on, yeah. Oh, I'm still recording. <laughs>